Ladies and gentlemen. The Ford Show. Starring... Tennessee Ernie Ford. certainly must require a lot of talent to play so beautifully on such a small piano. Yes, especially when you consider that the black keys are just painted on. Like some ears of corn. Ears of corn. Nice roast beef. Black eyed beef. Lot to eat. What a party. Everybody sing and play. Happy, happy holiday. Well, let's see what Johnny, Elaine, Tommy, and Delta have brought. We brought Mr. Merle Travis. Mr. Yeah. Merle Travis. Would you like some candied yams? Yes, we'd like some candied yams. Is this not a pumpkin pie? pie? No, that's not a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Candied yams. Ears of corn. Nice roast beef. Black eyed peas. Lot to eat. What a party. Everybody sing and play. Happy, happy holiday. Now, Ted and Irene, Dick and Katie, what is your contribution to this festive board? Is this not a turkey leg? Yes, that is a turkey leg. Is this not bicarbonate? Yes, that is bicarbonate. Turkey leg. Bicarbonate. Pumpkin pie. Candied yams. Ears of corn. Nice roast beef. Black eyed beef. Lots to eat. What a party. Everybody sing and play. Happy, happy holiday. Let's see what Ken, Dorothy, Dick, Chet, Howard, Karen, Don, and David brought. <laughs> We are bringing fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts are just for us. Would you like some cider too? Yeah, yeah we'd like some cider too. Cider too. Fruits and nuts. Turkey leg. Pumpkin pie. And it yams. Ears of corn. Nice roast beef. Black eyed peas. Not to eat. My carbonate. What a party. Everybody sing and play. Happy, happy holidays. Happy, happy holidays. Thanksgiving to those of you here in the studio and all of you at home who just ate your overstuffed turkeys and are sitting groaning on your overstuffed sofas with your overstuffed stomachs and there's no relief in sight. The next seven days, turkey hash week, followed by turkey croquettes, 
followed by fricassee of turkey for a week. And then a, a, a lady wrote me uh, about a recipe to do with the rest of the turkey. She said, then you take the carcass, what's left, and you put it in a big pot. And you pour four cups of water on it, a half a bottle of brandy, a half a bottle of peach cordial, two spoonfuls of mint gin. Boil it for four hours. Take the pot off of the stove, carry it out in the backyard, bury that carcass, and you'll have the dad blamed as turkey gravy for the next week you've ever had in your whole life. <laughs> Size Mama Weaver. <laughs> Figured to come from her. We've had to work all day, so the top 20 and myself and the whole gang are going to have our Thanksgiving dinner right here on the show. I've invited a couple of my dearest friends to join us, Miss Molly B. and Merle Travis, whom you saw a while ago. We're going to have an old-fashioned Thanksgiving with some shirt sleeve eating right here in the kitchen, just like we used to at home. Now, NBC built this kitchen, and I think it's a good one. It's like, kind of like the one I was raised in. Now, back home, you not only cooked in the kitchen, you ate in the kitchen, and you entertained in the kitchen. And on cold nights, you slept in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, you tell you that many a time... The many and many a time that I've backed up the flap side of my woolies against one of these <laughs> to, to, to try to get warm. And it's a good thing Grandpa was a light sleeper. He always come in and turn me over when the buttons popped. <laughs> Let's see how the turkeys are doing. Yee! Oh, I tell you. Molly? You did a beautiful job on the turkey. Well, thank you, Ernie. I'm kind of proud of it, seeing it's the first one I ever cooked. Well, now, you should be proud. She made one little mistake, though. Uh, after she got the turkey stuffed, she didn't sew it up. <laughs> but it was awful cute. I stood over there watching her, trying to figure out how to get that turkey to sit in the oven four and a half hours with its legs crossed. <laughs> Ernie, why do I get rid of these eggshells and leftover breadcrumbs? This old kitchen, it doesn't have a garbage disposal. It doesn't have a what? A garbage disposal. I want to show you a thing or two. You don't think we don't have a garbage disposal in these kitchens. We got the best there is. Now, that ain't the best garbage disposal. <laughs> right there is foolproof garbage disposal. And what? Well, and you never have any maintenance problems. If it ever breaks down, you take it back to the pen and get another. <laughs> you go ahead about your business, and I'll go see Murr. Oh, okay. How's cornbread coming? Pretty good, Ern. Pretty oh, good. he makes good cornbread. Boy, put that in the pan. That looks fine. Put any cracklings in it? Plenty of them. Good. You know, back home, Grandma was famous for her cornbread. Everybody tried to cop it, remember? Yeah. And she used to mix it with her hands But when, when she's fixing it. And nobody could capture that flavor. Finally, we found out what it was. What was it? It was the soap she washed her hands in before she mixed it. <laughs> it's all ready? All ready you for put her on. Hey, while we're waiting on the turkey, let's have a little entertainment. One, two, five. You know, I've asked uh, Merle and Molly to come over for several different reasons. I wanted to see them again. I wanted you to see them, and I wanted you to hear them. This fellow Merle Travis is responsible for some of the best luck I ever had. Merle, bring your guitar. Come over, sit in. All right. There's the boy. You may know this, but some of you may not. This is the gentleman that wrote a song called Sixteen Ton. Yeah. Thank you, Aaron. The song never amounted much so till, till you sung it, I'll tell you that. You want to know something? I never amounted to much till I sung it either. <laughs> Aside from writing wonderful songs, he plays... It. Hey, let's sing some of these songs that we used to do together when we worked on shows together. All right. Do, let's do the one about the, the girl you went oh, with. Oh, I know the one you know talking the one. about. She keeps me warm in the winter. That's her, yes. Shady in the summertime. Hey. That's what I like about that fat gal of mine. <laughs> That's the one. Here, wait, just... And when she's tickled... <laughs> So much of her has the biggest time. I tell all the jokes to that fat gal of mine. This hard time talk don't trouble me. That's it. I keep as happy as a honeybee. If things get rough and times get hard, I'll render my gal and sell the lark. <laughs> <laughs> 
shady in the summertime. That's what I like about that fat gal of mine. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> An old song I made up one time called The Nine Pound Hammer. You wrote that one too, didn't you? Yeah. B play the chord. All right. Time. This nine pound hammer is a little too heavy. That's the one. For my size. Honey, for my size. I'm going on the mountain. Go see my baby. But I ain't coming back. No, I ain't coming back. Roll on, buddy. Don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when the wheels won't go? Roll on, buddy. Tell about it. Pull a load of coal. How can I pull when the wheels won't go? Watch him pitch. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's the best you ever saw. Yeah. Roll on, buddy. Roll on, buddy. Don't you roll so slow. Don't you roll so slow. How can I roll, I roll. when the wheels won't go? <laughs> roll on, buddy. Pull Don't a load of coal. How can I pull? When the wheels won't roll. When the wheels won't roll. <laughs> Several years ago, a friend of ours by the name of Tex Williams made a record of a song that you sold and sold and sold. Another one that this that you wrote. I bet if we start it, you'll remember it. Go ahead and start it. All right. Now, I'm a feller with a heart of gold, with the ways of a gentleman I've been told, the kind of a guy that wouldn't even harm a flea. Yeah, but if me and a certain character met, the guy that invented that cigarette, I'd murder the son of a gun in the first degree. Not because I don't smoke them myself, and I don't reckon they'll harm your health. I've smoked them all my life, and I ain't dead yet. Naturally not. But nicotine slaves are all the same at a petting party or a poker game. Everything got to stop while they have a cigarette. Smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. Puff, 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 and if you smoke yourself to death, tell St. Peter at the Golden Gate that you hate to make him wait, but, but you, you just, just got, got to have another cigarette. cigarette. Remember this verse? Now, in a game of chance of the night, old Dame Fortune was doing me right, the kings and queens, they kept on coming around. Right. I played them hard and I bet them high, but my bluff didn't work on a certain guy. He kept on raising and laying the money down. Yeah, and he'd raise me and I'd raise him. I sweated blood, had to sink or swim. Finally, he called, but he wouldn't raise the bet. <laughs> I said, Ace is full, pal. How about you? And he said, I'll tell you in just a minute, but right now I've got to have another cigarette. Smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. Puff, 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 and if you smoke yourself to death, tell St. Peter at the Golden Gate that you hate to make him wait, but you've just got to have another cigarette. Getting hungry? Yeah. Yeah. The turkey ain't ready. Oh. But somebody is ready. Miss Molly B. Oh. Molly, bless you in your heart. Molly, the kitchen's all yours. You just sing for us and get to going. Gee, Ernie, I'd love to, but I don't know if this kitchen exactly fits the song. You see, it, it's very romantic. Molly, I said a while back, we used to do everything in the kitchen. Lollygagging, too. Well... <laughs> now, I'll fix you a place to stand oh. up here and sing. I'll tell you what. You, I'll move the table. You move right up there on that little green mark, and I'll take yeah. your apron, and you Thank go you. sing. I got the feeling of falling Like a star up in the blue Like I was falling off Niagara In a paddleboat canoe I got the feeling I'm Like I was walking on a tide rope, swinging in the breeze, and so I tried to keep my balance. I just weakened in the knees. I got the feeling I'm a falling lover. Help me, please. Like a rock slide out of land Like the rain on a stormy day I never thought 
thought I'd fall this way. I thought that love could never touch me. Yes, I was flying high, my eyebrows how was toppled. And a very tumble from the sky, I got the feeling I'm a falling. Love for you. Could never touch me. Yes, I was flying high. My ivory tower toppled, and a bit tumble from the sky. I got the feeling I'm a falling lover. You're the You, you know how proud I am. It's just wonderful. I'm just awfully proud of when, to see the way you've grown up and to be such a beautiful, successful young lady. Well, thank you. Boy. No, I, I really mean it. It just only seemed like yesterday you were a little ten-year-old freckle-faced mucket. <laughs> yeah. Come in in pigtails and started out on my show. Remember that? Yes, I do. Goodness gracious. Ten years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Let's see. Ten plus ten. Mm-hmm. I'm exactly nineteen. <laughs> Well, I won't argue with you. That's the way Betty figures out arithmetic, too. That's what I'm trying. You know, you know, Merle and I were talking a while ago. Merle! Yeah? Come in here a minute, will you? We were, uh... Hello, Hello Molly. We were, uh... We were talking a while ago about when Molly came in to see us and how she used to yodel when she had the pink tails yeah. and the little... She... Silver bell voice. Just and yodel up a storm. Would you do... Uh... Well, I'd love to, but I think I've kind of outgrown them. Gee, I don't even have my pigtails anymore. You think not? Don't you move. <laughs> Uh-oh. Molly, Uh-oh. I got you some instant pigtails here. <laughs> That's our Molly B. She looks like is. Molly B. She looks like Molly B. Merle, would you play if you're proud to? I seen yeah. one of your yodels. All right. <laughs> I went away to Switzerland where all the yodelers be to try to learn to yodel with my yodel AT. Well, I climbed a big high mountain on a clear and sunny day. And I met a yodeling boy at there in a little Swiss chalet. He taught me to yodel, 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 He taught me to yodel, 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 I knew she would. Say, oh, while all dear. three of us are here, mm. let's uh, let's do some of uh, our three-part country harmony, oh. like we used to sing close. And oh, Molly, I Molly, do the one. If you can get in the mood for the real tearjerker, uh, 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 get in the mood and do the one about the girl and the, and the, and the thing. Oh, I'll try and do it. That tears me up. Well, now, get in the mood now. Oh. All right. It's pretty, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> this is serious, friends. Oh! Get to him in a minute. <laughs> 
still a united people with a pride in our past and a faith in our future. Here's a song you may have heard somewhere along the line tonight or this week, but if we may, we'd like to sing it now because I can't think of a better way to say what's in our hearts. Bless this house, O Lord, we pray. Bless this house, O Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. Make it safe by night and day. Bless these walls so firm and stout. Bless these walls so firm and stout. Keeping want and trouble out. Keeping want and trouble out. Bless the roof and chimneys tall. Let thy peace lie over all. Bless this door that it may prove ever open to joy and love. Bless these windows shining bright. Let he Pure and free from sin. 